Inflation continues to top the list of Americans' economic concerns, and we learned Friday that they're right to be worried. Prices jumped again at a record-breaking pace last month. CBS News senior national correspondent Mark Strassman has more. Gas prices feel like highway robbery. Too damn high. It's ridiculous. On average, we're now paying more than five bucks a gallon, a record, up 16 cents in one week, and almost two dollars more than a year ago. Then again, for all the complaints that there are out there about gas prices hitting records, few Americans seem to be cutting back much. Gas prices help fuel inflation that's at a 40-year high. Take groceries, milk up 20% in a year, eggs up 75%. Or housing, the average rent costs 15% more. Want to get away this summer? Airfare is soaring, up almost 40% from a year ago. Still sizzling, just like the economy, America's labor market. Right now, there are roughly two jobs for anyone looking for work. You could not hire enough employees to either produce your product, deliver your product, service your product. Nearly one-third of small business owners say inflation's now their number one worry, the highest number since 1980. It's the gas, it's the labor shortage, then the wages. So you get it from all angles when you're a small business. And three straight months of inflation, not just above 8%, but trending in the wrong direction. I think that bringing inflation down should be our number one priority. Expect the Fed to raise interest rates again soon. Mortgage rates have already shot up. A 30-year fixed averages more than 5.5%, more than two points higher than January. But make no mistake, taming inflation will take time, maybe deep into next year. Meanwhile, expect to keep paying more. By August, many analysts believe gas will average $6 a gallon. That was Mark Strassman in Atlanta. Uh -huh, yeah. No one's cutting back, huh? What a bunch of shit. Honest to God.